Dog training with ease, flowing naturally with your furry friend. When it comes to dog training, many of us imagine it as a task requiring firm commands and strict schedules. However, embracing a more natural and effortless approach can make training not only easier but also more enjoyable for both you and your dog. Here's how you can train your dog by being in the flow, which involves no force but a harmonious connection with your dog's innate nature. 1. Let go of your ego. It's easy to get caught up in power struggles with your dog, especially when they aren't responding as you expect. This resistance often stems from our own ego and attachment to controlling how training should progress. What if the secret to better behavior wasn't in forcing a change but in allowing it to surface naturally? For instance, if your usual commands aren't working, stepping back and observing might reveal a new method that aligns more closely with your dog's personality and preferences. This adjustment isn't about giving up control but about refining your approach to foster a deeper understanding and respect between you and your dog. 2. Allow perceived control. A profound yet subtle method involves letting your dog feel in control, even though you are guiding the process. This approach is about balancing leadership with empathy. Could it be that sometimes, the best way to lead is to follow? By setting boundaries within which your dog can make choices, you encourage their confidence and cooperation. For example, during a walk, letting your dog choose the direction, within reason, can make the experience more enjoyable and engaging for them, reinforcing your role as a benevolent leader who respects their preferences. 3. Don't rush, flow with time. In dog training, patience is more than a virtue. It's a requirement. Rushing can lead to frustration on both ends of the leash. What if slowing down actually speeds up real progress? Allowing the training to unfold in its own time lets you and your dog enter a zone or flow state where learning accelerates naturally without pressure. This means spending more time on mastering simple commands through repetitive, gentle guidance rather than pushing for quick advancements that might overwhelm your dog. 5. Celebrate small wins. Incremental learning and small achievements often lead to substantial long-term growth in dog training. Might the smallest steps be the ones that lead to the greatest change? By acknowledging and celebrating even minor improvements, you reinforce the behaviors you want to encourage, building your dog's confidence and enthusiasm for learning. Each small step is a building block towards your ultimate training goals, providing both you and your dog with a sense of achievement and progress. 6. Accept your mistakes. Perfection is not the goal in dog training. Mutual understanding is. What if your willingness to accept flaws could open the door to greater learning opportunities? Recognizing and accepting your own mistakes can enhance your relationship with your dog, who likely forgave you long before you forgave yourself. This acceptance fosters a positive atmosphere in training sessions, encouraging your dog to engage without fear of retribution for errors, thus promoting an environment ripe for learning. By applying these principles, you align more closely with the natural order of learning, creating a training environment that is based on mutual respect, understanding, and patience. This approach not only improves the effectiveness of the training but also enhances the bond between you and your dog making every training session a shared, joyful journey.